Hi, I'm Mario Batali, and you're watching me on CNN Etocracy. Scorpacciata is a beautiful Italian word that's not only beautiful to say, scorpacciata, but it's beautiful in concept and execution. What it means is that when something comes into season, whether it's the first strawberries, or whether it's raspberries, or blackberries, or asparagus, or pumpkin, or tomatoes, or wild striped bass, when you know that something has a finite life span, meaning real strawberries are really only around three or four weeks a year wherever you happen to live, what you do is you go at it with a vengeance. You make sure that you attack them, not in a vicious way, but in a way that you have them every way that you can, because you understand that in the limited real world, the real local strawberries, and we're talking about geospecificity here, something that's really important to me, Understanding that the local asparagus is here for three or four weeks means you're going to commit yourself to enjoying that because you're not going to eat asparagus that's been frozen or shipped from thousands of miles away. You're going to only eat asparagus when it's local. And understanding, although I, the locavore moniker doesn't work for me, understanding that it's about deliciousness, not just the slavish attention to somebody else's rules of eating something local. But when you can find something that's local and delicious and you can enjoy it as many times as you can, it means that by the time the season is over, you're ready for the next project, which means at the end of the tomato season, you eat them as much as you can, and then the next thing you know is either cruciferous vegetables or winter squash. And when you go into that scorpacciata, then the next thing to happen is porcini. And after porcini becomes Brussels sprouts, and after Brussels sprouts becomes winter squash again, and then all of a sudden, it's ramps and asparagus and strawberries again. And understanding that circle of life is the way to go.